Hi, my name is Andrew Sherbakov, and I teach physics at Georgia Institute of Technology. Lately, I've been teaching Introductory Honors Physics too. This class covers electromagnetism and is geared towards physics majors. This class is more in-depth than regular introductory physics class, since the laboratory experience is a very important component of students' education. There is a clear need for the labs that are in line with the advanced class material and at the same time are engaging and fun for students. Developing a suite of such relevant and interesting experiments is a challenge, but this little device made it all possible. The convenience of the software, the variety of sensors packed in this device, their accuracy, versatility, and portability all turned lab development into satisfying and fun experience. The portability is of special importance since due to COVID our university switched to remote mode of course delivery. Some aspects of teaching were sacrificed, but laboratories suffered the most. I redesigned the curriculum for this class to make sure the quality of the experiments is not sacrificed while the course is taught remotely. I reworked experiments such that all labs can be done by students at home. I procured and assembled individual lab kits that were distributed to students and created detailed lab manuals with video tutorials. These tutorials covered the most challenging aspects of experiments and enabled students to do all the measurements on their own. Students also received personalized support during weekly online meetings, and those who excelled in the course had an opportunity to do advanced challenging bonus experiments and assignments. The experiments are designed to not only illustrate important theoretical concepts, but also to be fun and spark interest and desire to do additional research, either guided by students' curiosity or suggested challenge bonus experiments. It helps that many elements of the lab kit are household items. Overall, I developed over 50 fun and interesting experiments on electromagnetism that students performed during the course of the semester. Here are a few examples. Students are given several wires, resistors, magnet, battery, and a breadboard, and they need to construct a simple electric motor. Once the motor is running, students may increase the current by short-circuiting one resistor and measure the increase in the rotational frequency. iLab software provides very convenient way to measure frequency by making FFT analysis of the voltage signal across the resistor. Students see that motor frequency is proportional to the current which leads to the conclusion that air resistance is proportional to the speed. In the lab on electromagnetic induction, students calculate and measure the flux through the circular loop of the magnetic field of the small magnet located in the center of the loop. The measurement of the magnetic flux is performed by moving the magnet through the center of the circular loop and then integrating the resulting induced EMF in the loop. The agreement between the measured and calculated values of the magnetic flux is remarkable. Once the pandemic is over and we switch back to in-person teaching, I still plan to use the same lab experiments. Students will work in teams of two rather than doing labs individually since collaboration enhances students' performance. This is how students were doing labs pre-pandemic and such team size proved to be optimal. Also, since the lab kits are portable, uh, students will be allowed to take them out of the lab room to do experiments on their own schedule. This should enhance students' flexibility and creativity. From students' responses, it's clear they find this course challenging and interesting, with lab components being the most, most engaging aspect of the class. This aha moment I witness when student builds a complex model and performs sophisticated calculations that match their measurements provides the greatest sense of satisfaction. Students grow as scientists right in front of me. 
they become capable to analyze and interpret data and construct models to explain it.